welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jodi and I am filming a couple of videos this week in my robe. Very, very slack, but it is cold and I just didn't feel like getting dressed <laughs> for the video. So I hope you don't mind a little bit of informality. You can see that I have just woken up. Excuse the uh, appearance. I'm just kidding. I have fully done the face and I just can't be bothered getting dressed. So I hope you don't mind me doing it in my robe just for this week, just for this week. I have a haul for you today. Some new beauty products out there on the market and some products that have been out for a while that I'm replacing or just trying for the first time myself. I hope that you enjoy this haul. I know many of you do enjoy them and uh, I've got lots to share with you today. So I've been to the Chanel counter at Maya. I've also been to Mac. I've been to Mecca and picked up some Too Faced. Um, yeah, I've got some lovely goodies, some Burt's Bees from David Jones. So without any further ado, I'm going to get right into it. Let's start with Maya. Chanel has a new collection out. They are from the Le Beige collection. They've got two new powders from the Healthy Glow Multicolor range. They do, of course, come in gorgeous little velvet pouches. And with the Le Beige Healthy Glow range, you've got that vanilla and black compact. This is a multi-purpose product. You've got a highlight shade, a bright pink shade, and you can also have the option of mixing them together. That's what they look like on my hand, just with a very easy, simple swatch. We've got a very sort of vivid coral shade there. And then when you do mix them together, you've obviously got something a little more soft. So I really like the versatility of this product. These typically are really nice and smoothing and flattering on mature skin if you've got texture. The Duo Number no. 1 looks just a little bit different. This has uh, less color and more tanny, tanny shades. So you can see here we've got a darker, cool shade of brown, it's almost like a purpley brown, and then a light peach shade. I also would not hesitate to use these on my eyes. This is what those shades look like. You can see we've got, this is would be a really nice um, sort of cool toned contour powder, I think for some of you. I'll mix it together and show you what that looks like as well. Really nice neutral rosy shade. I'm not sure how well that will show up on the camera, but um, beautiful products there. I'm really excited to use those. And then also from their newest collection, I think this is their summer collection, I think. This is the Emperante Du Desert. And this is their latest um, four shade eyeshadow compact. We've got a gorgeous little ripple embossed pattern. Can you see those? Shades there, we've got a really beautiful, nice light goldy champagne, a beautiful medium tone brown, a darker mocha sort of chocolate shade of brown, and then a really lovely sort of spearmint shade. All of them have a bit of sparkle as well. So you've really got that sort of shimmery, deserty colors coming through. I also did pick up from the collection their Stilo Yo Waterproof Long Lasting Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Sable. A really nice, easy, travel friendly twist up. It's just a really pretty, sort of um, bronzy, it's almost like a half rosy, half bronzy shade. Really, really nice for that lower lash line in particular. I do find that they last a nice long time. They stay very creamy in the packaging. So that is everything from Chanel. I've also been to MAC. Probably my most watched video is not a comprehensive um, video of all of MAC foundations, but it was one that I made, gosh, quite a few years ago now. The quality is less than ideal. You know, most of it, I have a crumpled sheet in the background. It's attracted a lot of criticism, unfortunately, but it's a widely viewed video and one that's been very, very helpful for viewers to determine, you know, what MAC foundation they might want to try. Um, sometimes MAC makeup artists can be a little bit intimidating or the MAC counter can be a little bit intimidating. So the hope was that I sort of shared my views and thoughts of the foundations, like a mini foundation review of all of my MAC foundations to help those of you out there who are curious, make a better a choice at the MAC counter, but I have purchased some new MAC foundations with the hope that I can find the time to refilm a better quality version of that because I've just received so many great compliments from the video and the quality makes me cringe. I can't watch it. So <laughs> I'd like to do better. Okay. So I did pick up a new MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 and NC 25. I like the Studio Fix Fluid, very photo friendly. I also picked up a mineralized foundation loose powder in the shade medium Plus, I have not tried that one before. Picked up a little MAC pump. You can use those in your Estee Lauder double wear 
um, foundations. I also picked up a MAC Prep and Prime BB Beauty Balm Tinted Foundation SPF 30. That is in the shade Medium Plus. I don't think I've tried that one yet. And then finally, I have picked up the Studio Sculpt SPF 15 in the shade NC25. I do have some other MAC foundations I've purchased relatively recently. So... Wish me luck. Wish me luck that I can um, make another one of those videos again. Life is busy, but um, yeah, I would love to make another one of those videos. Okay, so I have also been to David Jones, and you may have seen on Instagram maybe how much I love the new lipsticks that were released from Burt's Bees. I think they just call them the 100% natural lipsticks, and they've got about 14 shades in the range. I was sent three shades from the PR company, and I fell in love. They feel very, very nourishing on the lips, very smoothing. They feel hydrating, and the color is just beautiful, very pigmented. It was on sale recently at David Jones so I certainly took the opportunity to purchase some more shades. This one here is Juniper Water. A beautiful lovely plum shade perfect for autumn. This one here is Lily Lake. It's just an everyday lovely rose shade. You can see that these look creamy. They are just yeah they feel beautiful like a balm on your lips I would say. Very nourishing. This one here is Brimming Berry. Definitely a berry shade. Scarlet Soaked. Russet River. Beautiful raisin shade. Again, perfect for fall. And then I love how many nudes and neutrals they have in this collection. This one here is called Blush Basin. Suede Splash. This one is just a true beautiful neutral nude. Every day, beautiful shade. And moving down the wrist here, this one here is Sunset Cruise, a lovely everyday pink, like a tea rose type shade. So if you have the opportunity to check out those Burt's Bees 100% natural lipsticks, I love them. I was just really surprised how much I loved them. Um, just a great lipstick. And then I have also succumbed to the whole craze about this Juicy Shaker from Lancome. I got the shade Piece of Cake, which going by the counters and how many didn't have it in stock, I think this is one of the most popular shades. They describe the Juicy Shaker as a pigment-infused biphase lip oil. So really interesting. It's something that you're supposed to shake. And I think they have maybe different scents. I think there's one that might be minty and one that might be fruity, one that might be cherry. A very broad conical sponge base there. And yeah, it sort of screws off like a cocktail shaker. So you definitely have to shake it because it's like a bi biphase uh, oil formula. This is what the shade looks like. So you can see it's like a balmy type shade. You can see it's definitely got that oil component to it, but I think you can build up the shade. The very sort of just, a, you're adding just a tint to your lips. And I thought, well, what better way to go than just a bit of a neutral. And then you've just got the sort of gleam on your lips and not worrying too much about the color. So um, I'll definitely keep you posted. That will probably either be a favorite or a miss <laughs> in the month's favorites. I will definitely keep you posted. And then I think the last place I've been to is Mecca. I've been in store and I've also ordered online. Of course, I was one of those people who could not resist, but pick up the brand new Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I am wearing it today, actually for the first time. It's been sitting in a box in a whole pile for weeks and weeks. It's terrible. But uh, after a first use, I can say I am really impressed with this sweet peach palette. I'm much more impressed with this palette than I was with the peanut butter and jelly palette. I was really excited to get that one from Too Faced. And then when I did, I don't know, it just wasn't as usable, I think, with just one dark sort of shimmery purple shade. Um, I find myself reaching for other palettes when I go to use the peanut butter and jelly one. But the Sweet Peach is beautiful. To be honest, I did not get a whiff. I didn't sort of intentionally smell it, but I didn't notice that it smelt of anything as I used it today. So that's quite interesting. I will sniff it the next time I use it. But beautiful shades, beautiful mix of shades, some great warm blending out shades. And um, yeah, really impressed with that palette and very, very pleased that I picked it up. This is another one I'm a little bit dubious about because I think the online reviews have not been great. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara now comes in a waterproof version. Many people love the Better Than Sex Mascara. I must say I abhor the name. I just 
you know, really seriously, really. Um, but uh, they they love the better than sex mascara. Many people, and the fact that it's available now in waterproof had many people excited. Um, you have a little hourglass shape brush on it, but the waterproof. I don't know. I've read from people that it smudges or it doesn't last, or maybe even that it's not waterproof. I'm not sure, but I'll definitely give it a shot and see what I think, what my experience is. And then the final product that I ordered on that online order is from Hourglass. They've come out with a new cream contour highlight blush palette and um, I think this is much better than the original Illum duos this I think is what they were called the sunset duo this has a more realistic bronzer shade you've got a beautiful everyday pink blush have not used this yet though and the highlight seems to have a little bit of a shimmer in it really looking forward to actually digging into that and giving it a, a try I think that that's going to be a beautiful addition to the hourglass collection and then I have also been in store as well to Mecca Maxima to pick up a few little goodies. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got pink tissue paper. I love going into my Mecca Maxima and a big shout out to my girls in Perth, Hannah, especially you, and uh, all the lovely ladies at Mecca in town. One of the products I picked up was from Smashbox. This one I think was a limited edition blush palette that came out maybe around Christmas time and they've just got some additional stock in. So I did decide to purchase this one. This is the Crush On Blush palette six lovely powder products there for the face everything from a bronzer and a highlight through to some peachier and pinker shades of blush very compact for travel and then still i have also released some new eye and cheek palettes they're called perfect me perfect hue and i think they've got maybe three or four different versions of it. I picked up two. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. They definitely got the thumbs up from the Mecca Girls. So I definitely thought I would pick them up to try. This one here is medium tan and the colors are just beautiful. You've got a shimmery peachy and a pinky blush in that palette as well as a lighter sort of, I think that might be meant to be a bit of a highlight shade and then a gorgeous, gorgeous violet purple, um, a beautiful nice sort of berry shade, a shimmery pinky rosy shade and a shimmery highlight shade for the eye. The idea being that you could use any of these on your eyes, um, not just as blushes and highlights, but it's nice that you've got sort of your you know, eyeshadows and um, face powders all in the one compact. So couldn't resist that combination of sort of peaches and burgundies and purples in that one. That's medium tan. And then I also picked up the tan deep and that's what this one looks like. Oh, look at that. So you've got a gorgeous, gorgeous sort of maroni type blush with a beautiful peachy blush. We've also got an apricot sort of face powder, I guess is what that's meant to be. And then a beautiful burgundy charcoal. Um, again, same shimmery sort of bronzy and highlight shades for the eyes. But can you imagine these on the eyes? I think these would just be beautiful. These shades really complement each other in a gorgeous way. And I cannot wait to give these ones a try on my eye. I also picked up some face products from Too Faced. The Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush in Peach Beach. This comes in a little boxed love heart box. Very, very cute. We've got a three-tone shimmery face powder in here in the shape of a love heart. You can obviously, you know, choose each individual shade or just pop them all on your face in one go. Just a really lovely shimmery pinky shade. I thought that that was gorgeous. I also picked up the Perfect Flush Blush in Sparkling Bellini. So Sparkling Bellini has more peaches and pinks in it. It's going to be more of a vibrant brush vibrant blush. <laughs> it's going to be more of a vibrant blush than the other shade you can see there just really peachy and beautiful. We do have a bit of shimmer but I think that's going to be really pretty on the face. I can't wait to give that a try. And then they've also come out, I think this powder might have been limited release before, I'm not sure, but they've released a permanent version, I guess, of the Pressed Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder, sort of a white universal shade of powder. The idea is that this is smoothing rather than imparting white powder on your face. It's going to help smooth the pores. I have a lot of cheek products in this video. I think I was just really feeling very, very blushy this month, but uh, I also could not resist the two new dual intensity blushes from the new NARS collection. I think this might be one of their summer collections, but I do adore the NARS Dual Intensity Blushes. They don't get very much attention here on YouTube. They are quite expensive products. I think maybe even for NARS, I'm not sure, but oh, these are absolutely 
gorgeous to swatch. I haven't used them on my face yet, but these are wet and dry products and they perform beautifully wet as well if you want something a little bit more uh, vibrant on your face. I also find that when you apply them wet, you um, it suits a dewier look, I guess, when you use them wet on your face and then dry application with the blush is still pigmented and lovely. So this one here is Liberation. We've got a gorgeous, lovely peachy pink and more of a bronzy type shade. And then this one here is Sexual Content. Seriously, seriously, the name just does my head in. But yes, it is called Sexual Content. I had to go into the store and say, uh, I believe someone's holding sexual content for me from NARS. <laughs> I'm here to collect some sexual content. And boy, did I. Here it is. Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying that on my face. We've got a shimmery type pinky highlighter and a shimmery type pinky blush. Really, really looking forward to trying these. Just oh, If you haven't had a chance to try the NARS Dual Intensity Blushes, definitely do they're just beautiful product I love 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 them okay so that is everything new that I have picked up lately I hope that you enjoyed please do let me know if you have picked up anything recently if you're loving it what you think of it I would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching have yourself a gorgeous day and please don't forget you are absolutely beautiful whether you buy makeup at all whether you use any of these beauty products any of these products it's one thing to look lovely it's one thing to look beautiful but it's so much more important to be it so much more important to be it that is it from me i will see you again really really soon bye you see it